Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another video about Assassin's Creed and today we're doing another Empire discussion video So I just want to start off by saying if you can hear any noise in the background I apologize, it's super fucking hot where I live and I need this fan on and the window open Otherwise I'm gonna die while making this But today we're gonna be talking about the possibility that Empire is the start of a trilogy for the next few Assassin's Creed games Kind of like the Ezio trilogy, following this new protagonist through different settings I'm gonna talk about possibility of how this could work, where we could go, and the gameplay feature we could see change. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about it being a trilogy. Do you want it? Do you not want it? Let me know what you think they should include. And be sure to smack that like button if you are super excited for AC Empire and subscribe if you haven't already for more Empire and Assassin's Creed content and shit. I went so BPR just there. Okay, so to begin, we got in the leak the possibility that it might be the start of a trilogy. So if we're going to believe the leak, then I guess we need to believe all of it. So the original leak did say, I might be wrong, the original game included Greece, which you could travel to, but it was cut from the game due to scale issues. So the naval side is now a mystery to me. There are talks about making a trilogy of this same character, so they might explore Greece and Rome next. So I'm going to talk about the possibility of exploring ancient Greece and ancient Rome and... If this part of the leak is true, because obviously the guy even said he doesn't know whether it's going to happen, but there were talks about it, which I personally think would be a great thing. Um, however, I'm going to talk about how this could possibly work. So, he said that Greece was originally an area that was going to be included in the game, but was removed because it was too big to include that alongside Egypt, I'm guessing. So, what I'd say that means is for Empire, or for the first game, it's going to be Egypt, however... The fact that everything else was cut from the game means that Egypt needs to be fully fleshed out. So this open world is probably going to be one of the best we've seen. Now, I personally think the fact that it's completely Egypt means they can't really cut corners. If they could have had, you know, Egypt, Greece, and Rome all in the same game would have just been these separate cities, it probably would have felt like a regular Assassin's Creed game. However, the fact that they're going to it's only going to focus on Egypt this one game means that they have to have several different elements to include. So you've got to have the water parts, you've got to have, you know, these dense seas, you also have to have the countryside, the deserts, and the ruins, and things like that. You've got to include them into one city, and you've got to include them into one playable area. So that means that the ancient Egypt, the, 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 like, you know, the setting, the area we're going to get is going to be super fleshed out. So we're going to have all these different features that we can explore, which means that's freaking awesome. Whereas possibly before, it would have just been, you know, the city and a kind of a small bit of, like, you know, surrounding landscape of each city that you would fast travel to. However, now we're getting a fully fleshed out ancient Egyptian setting for empire. So the next thing would be, what are they gonna do for Greece and what are they gonna do for Rome? So of course what's gonna happen is, moving on to the next game, supposing this was all real, what would happen is moving on to the next game, our main character would travel to ancient Greece from ancient Egypt for a specific reason, kind of the same reason that Ezio traveled to Rome in Brotherhood from the rest of the Italian cities and focused on Rome, then traveled to Constantinople and focused on that in Revelations. So what would be the reason? I don't know, possibly to build up the Brotherhood somewhere else. So I'm assuming that in Egypt, he's going to, you know, conquer everything, become, you know, the top dog in Egypt and, you know, assemble the Assassin Brotherhood there and take out all of the Templars and then they need to head to Greece. Possibly it'll be similar to the motives of the Ezio trilogy, but I personally think that's kind of, you know, a bit dumb if they just want to copy and paste the Ezio trilogy. So there needs to be a decent reason. Let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comment section below, but I think it'll personally be, you know, maybe in search of a piece of Eden, maybe there's more Templars, maybe the same villain carries over all three games and ends up, you know, there's there's one guy that got to take out and you have to play all of them to take out the last one that'll be in Rome um, rather than it was like in the Ezio trilogy where, you know, you have Rodrigo, then you had Cesare, then you had Amet, even though the Templars weren't really prominent in Revelations. You have those three different main villains that Ezio had to take out. Maybe in the Empire trilogy, there's this one villain that you have to, you, you need to take out. However, you can't do that until you've taken out all of the other sub you know, leaders in these different areas. So you have the ancient Egyptian saying where you take out one guy, you have the ancient Greek saying where you take out another guy, and then you have the ancient Rome saying where you take out the final guy and finally manage to get to this main Templar leader in the final part of the trilogy. Now, I know this will possibly segregate some people because it may mean like, oh, now I have to buy all of the games. However, I think that's a good thing if you have this ongoing story that means you have to have played the other games. I think that's what made Assassin's Creed good and that's what makes a lot of franchises good is by playing all of the games, um, you get you get more of an experience than just playing one of the games. And I think that's what Assassin's Creed have done wrong recently 
is, you know, Syndicate, Unity, Rogue, 4, you know, all these games, they all feel separate from each other, like they're trying to be separate from each other, whereas the other games all felt connected, and you had to play all of them to get the story, and that's what made it feel so special, and the story was so rich and good, is because it had all these elements that you had from all the other games. Whereas now they feel so separate and alone, that I think starting a trilogy, where you have to play them all, would make Assassin's Creed fantastic again, by having this ongoing narrative that continues through each game, and I think that'd be really good for the modern day, but that's also for another video. So as for Greece, what would Greece actually include as a setting? Now, I think all these settings work well together because they're very similar, very much like how the uh, Ezio trilogy was. However, there's very distinct differences, and it'll be super cool to see the differences in the cities, like such as with Greece, you could have way more kind of, you know, oasis areas, because it's not as, it's obviously nowhere near as deserty as Egypt is. It's in a completely kind of different area of the world, and you'll have this different architecture and things like that. You're going to have this different, like, focus on, you know, the gods and things like that, which may bring out, you know, more of the, um, more of the first Civ stuff from Greece, because a lot, I'm pretty sure a lot of the gods in Assassin's Creed, meaning the first Civ, are taken from Greek, you know, mythology, as well as, you know, Roman, and I'm pretty sure Egyptian as well, so it's the perfect kind of, tr like, trio to have as cities if we're going to explore more of the first civilization, especially that far back in history, so that could be what Greece brings to the table, as well as, you know, these really cool, like, architectural cities, I think there's going to be way more city areas in ancient Greece than there will be in the ancient Egyptian area, which is really cool, it brings dynamic diversity, and I think Greece could implement more kind of, you know, naval exploration than the Egyptians saying, not that, you know, we'll necessarily have naval, but I do think Greece could bring that to the table, and that could be really, really cool. Then we've got Rome, and I think Rome will be the setting that will get, you know, the revelations type thing, and this will be where you really go to search for these pieces of Eden for, you know, the first civilization stuff, because, you know, there was already a lot of first civ stuff going on in Brotherhood. However, in the ancient setting of Rome, there's going to be way more to it. The city's going to be bigger, there's not going to be as much ruins. However, I'm pretty sure underneath the city, maybe some catacombs that we might find, like there were in Brotherhood, where we'll find some cool first civ stuff, as well as, you know, some really cool assassin tombs in this area. And I just think Rome will be the setting where, you know, we'll go to pursue this wisdom like Ezio did with Constantinople and even though we'll be after the Templars I think when we Rome will be the place where we might uncover some real story elements and it's, you know, this is just a trilogy that could take this character to lots of different places, and I think, you know, not just in settings, but in how the character acts, and I think if they carry over the characters and things like that and really evolve the game so they don't they don't just shove it in your face about what's happening, you kind of have to ex discover it yourself with the character, and everything evolves with the character, and you go from, you know, the start of this game where, you know, you're trying to rescue people, you're trying to, like, you know, assassinate the Templars to this really wise master assassin that's really come really far and developed the Brotherhood in these different locations of Egypt, Greece, and Rome, and I think, you know, that would really, really help the franchise, and I think there's so many interesting ways they could take it. We talked a little bit more about this really in depth on the newest episode of the Kill Connor Club podcast. I'll leave a link on screen and the top link in the description if you want to go listen to it. There are timestamps in the description of the podcast, so you can go ahead and skip to the bits that you want to listen to, so you don't have to listen to the whole two and a half hours. You know, you can go through it, and you can find the bits that you want to listen to, and it's super interesting. Me and Tyler, Tynamite, another member of the Assassin's Creed community, my co-host on the podcast, really went in depth and discussed, you know, the things we could see in, you know, Greece and Rome and Egypt mainly and how it could work with the trilogy, what Assassin's Creed's done wrong. And I think we really went in depth and I think you guys really, really enjoy it. So be sure to check that out in the description if you guys are super interested and hype for Empire because we, we definitely are and we went into it and discussed a lot about it. So that'll be super interesting. So definitely check that out in the description. But I think that wraps it up for this video. I did wrap ramble on a little bit, which I apologize about, but you know, that's what these discussions are like. I kind of just talk about what I'm thinking about at the time, and those are some of the things that I think, you know, could really work with a trilogy, and I think it's the perfect time for a trilogy, and the perfect settings for a trilogy, and I think this could really work well. So leave your comments in the comment section, obviously, and let me know what you guys think you'd like to see from a trilogy, if Empire is starting a trilogy. And with that, I think that's the end of the video, so thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to smack the like button, because that'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe for the newest Assassin's Creed content, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Leaping from my places, rivers are flowing red, now we're defying, now, now we're uniting, go oh, watching from the skies, uh, these streets are burning, now uh, they're starting fire, uh, I'm gonna take it to them all.